This morning I went out with my D850 with the intent of capturing some really cool bird images. So I went to one of my favorite places and I found this. This is incredible. Look at all these bees. I mean, you can get right up in there. Just, li just listen. Yeah, here. Yeah. This bush was full of so many bees and other cool little bugs. And I said, oh great, I'm gonna get some cool macro shots with my macro lens. But because I went out hunting for birds, I forgot to bring it. And I only brought my Nikkor 200 to 500. But I decided to make the best of the situation and see just how good I could get with this zoom lens in the terms of macro. And the results I got are absolutely incredible. They are some of the best, sharpest macro shots I have ever gotten. Let's check them out. Here's the full frame shot of the first bee. I kept the bee directly in the middle of the frame because that's where this lens is the sharpest when paired with the D850. Keep in mind that all of these were also shot on a tripod. I had originally set up to shoot video, but I just started grabbing images instead. I still had my shutter speed set up for bird in flight, and this caused the auto ISO to choose an ISO of 800, but the image still looks nice and clean. Let's take a closer look so we can see what kind of detail was captured. Wow, this will give you an idea of the amount of detail the D850 can capture. Then I focused on this bee mimic. These insects don't sting, but there's a huge benefit to looking just like a bee. Other animals pretty much leave them alone because they think they are bees. That's a pretty cool defense system if you ask me. Here's the close-up. Again, an incredible amount of detail. At this point, I lowered my shutter speed in favor of a much lower ISO. I wanted to see how the D850 images looked at the lowest ISO possible. There is no noise reduction on this image at all. Then I grabbed this shot of a tiny spotless ladybug. And here's a nice close-up crop. By the way, this image is a JPEG straight out of the camera. The other shots have been mildly processed to taste in Lightroom. This last bee shot is my favorite, but you really need to see a crop version to truly appreciate the insane amount of detail available here. It's just beautiful. Look at this. I'm extremely impressed with these shots. Just another great feature of the D850. So by not bringing my macro lens with me, I broke one of my rules, which is to always bring all of my gear. But because the D850 and the 200 to 500 are such an incredible combo, I didn't really need my macro lens. So for me, this is kind of a game changer. I can still do macro, but with this zoom lens and keep one more lens at home. Now this is a one-to-one -one macro lens. This is not, so there would be a difference. You know, this I could get right up on a bee's head and just capture some incredible detail. This, I couldn't do that, but you saw the pictures. They're just absolutely mind-blowing. Um, so you can't really compare the two in that situation. So I've had the D850 in my hands for about a week now, and I've been shooting with it every day. And every day I go out with it, it just keeps surprising me. I keep finding more and more just really cool stuff that it can handle. Today was no exception. I'll have plenty more videos coming up of other cool stuff it does as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. Hit the thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you thought of those bee pictures. They just, they blew my mind. I haven't seen anything um, that was that sharp and that detailed off of a zoom lens. I got to be able to use the full power, that full 45 megapixel power of the D850. It was incredible.